Kamala Harris and Tim Walz continue to draw huge crowds. 15,000 in Arizona, 18,000 in Las Vegas. And the massive turnout is apparently driving Trump nuts. They said, oh, she had a big crowd. Oh, the crowd, the press is talking about the crowd. It's very clear that this is getting under Donald Trump's skin. Now Trump is pushing a wild conspiracy theory. Has anyone noticed that Kamala cheated at the airport he ranted on social media? There was nobody at the plane and she AI'd it and showed a massive crowd of so-called followers, but they didn't exist. What's his evidence that the scene was created by artificial intelligence? The former president says you can't see a reflection of the crowd on Air Force Two. Why is there nobody in the reflection on the plane? So what's the truth? Turns out the crowd was 100% the real deal. Many reporters and TV news crews captured the throng, which spilled out of the hangar onto the tarmac. We personally had a team of correspondents, reporters, producers, photographers at that Kamala Harris rally who can easily disprove these false claims about this being an AI-generated crowd. As to why there wasn't a reflection on the plane, the crowd simply wasn't close enough. In this angle, you can see they are, in fact, well back from the plane. It's not as if anybody cares about crowd sizes or anything. So. <laughs> Meanwhile, with polls showing Kamala Harris surging, the Trump campaign is facing mockery after playing the iconic Titanic theme song at a rally in Montana. Lots of jokesters on social media are rubbing it in. It's a metaphor for Trump's sinking campaign, goes one crack. And now Celine Dion's record label has ordered him to stop using the song. In no way is this use authorized, and Celine Dion does not endorse this or any similar use. Poking fun at Trump by adding, and really, that song? Oh, 